So our car shows. What about them? How much we love and hate them and what they could do better to be better car shows and what are the best car shows out there and why tuner shows are just way better than muscle car shows. Here's the thing, we can we can talk about car shows for two, three, four, five videos that yeah. have I think let's 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 specify something and let's specify what we want to talk about car shows because we can talk about the judging of car shows and how that's okay. done. I want to talk about specifically tuner versus muscle car shows. Okay. Okay. That, because yep. lately Daniel and I have been going to a lot of tuner shows mm -hmm. and I hate to say it, they they they're way way better than muscle car shows and it's sad. It breaks my heart. Especially in California, there's there's a lot of muscle cars out here. And I, and I think I, I think that how why they are better is because they're catering to the the Fast and Furious group. Okay. So as, as the the younger generation keeps on coming up, everybody's going. They're still rolling on that that Fast and Furious coattails, so to speak. So and then also in the tuner world, there's so many vendors and so much money and so much eye candy in the tuner world versus the American muscle car scene okay. or you know and that's what it is there's more money there's more backing and and to be honest there's more people involved in the tuner world I like the and, fact and that that's the difference or more indoor than outdoor yeah yeah, yeah and, that, and that's the difference you know versus uh, American car shows they're just more cars and coffee kind of more chill you know you know you walk around you look at a car you know there's not necessarily that bling that tuner shows have there's a lot of bling and tuner shows versus uh, you know uh, American car shows just you know domestic car shows that's interesting and and, and I do see what AJ is saying because when we go to like the shows that we go to you know the, the yeah. car shows that we go to we do see a lot of younger people. The drivers for a lot of those cars yeah. are a lot of younger people. Younger and, and, and a lot of fart cans. A lot of fart cans. I don't know. Like, a lot of Lambo doors. Nah. nah a lot know. of chrome. That's so, a V6 thing now. Hey, that's, that's back when AJ cars. was young, which was... Oh, what? Like, you want me to start rolling up videos? Have, they don't have that no more. Room you want me to, Yeah, they do. Let's, let's, no. bring, let's bring it back. Let's you want to make a bet, Matt? You do. You didn't know my name? You're too... My name's not Matt. Matt. I said Max. Uh, he yeah. just said, Matt, roll back the film. Yeah. See what he said. He's like, you're me Matt. Lambo <laughs> doors. People are still cutting doing Lambo doors, dude. Nah. Yes, they are. Oh, you're, yeah. You're too busy I'm running sorry. your yeah, business. No. You're, you're, not, you're not seeing what I'm, I'm seeing. Right I don't go to the show. I'm going to give them a small shout out. Vertical Doors is killing it right now. They got every V6 really? muscle car right. oh, there you on go. lock. Yeah, exactly. On lock. I don't you know, know what I is. saw just recently? <laughs> and I think it was today or maybe yesterday. He's old. He can't remember. So. <laughs> Who was it? <laughs> I saw a GT350 with Lambo doors. No, I did too. fucking way. Yes, I did, dude. Yes, I did. I, did. Yes, yeah. I, did. I saw it again. On Lambo Instagram. Killing it right yeah. On Instagram. I was like, That's the what? shit I was talking about trying to be cool on Instagram. Hey, hey. I'm telling you. Check dude. it out. It looked stock. It was the same OEM wheels yeah, and everything. everything. And then all of a sudden, whoo, butterfly doors, Lambo doors. We'll call them butterfly doors or whatever, yeah. but yeah. Uh, I couldn't it believe good. it. I couldn't believe it either. I saw it. Looked, it did it look good or no? No, it looked like a car with Lambo doors. It looks like exactly. That's what it looks it's like. What it looks like. You don't have that. Like, oh man. Yeah, you know what? Okay. The only car that should have Lambo doors is a, is a Lamborghini. And even they don't even have. Yeah, Lambo or a GT. You know, Ford GT cars that are purposely. There, those are made for supercars. So don't do it. I know you want to do the Lambo doors on your car. Just don't do it. I know you're. Because that's your next. That's the only thing you got to do on your car, man. I might do it. I right. might fucking do it. Don't do it. I might fucking do it. You know what? Forget it. We're not talking about car shows. We're talking about Lambo doors right now. I, I can't want to. It's for the third time. Hey, com doors. Com comment where I can get Lambo doors at, though. That might Lambo be interesting. LambodoRes.com. I'm oh, okay. telling you. Man, he's, I, that's why I'm not, I'm not shaming him or nothing. He's got Instagram on lock right now. And I'm, I'm impressed. Because okay. I saw but, that Shelby today, too. And yeah. I was like, Like, shit. don't get me wrong. <laughs> It's cool. It looks cool. I'm not downing anybody that has it, but I'm just, you know, we're referencing the tuner world. <laughs> what they, what you see at the tuner car shows, you know, you know, yeah. ridiculous camber, ridiculous, that, that, I'm not ridiculous I'm not exhaust, 
you know I mean but there is a lot of good stuff that the tuners yeah. at the tuner car shows that you see their cars are Details, amazing man. the detail are is just amazing and maybe, that's where all the money is maybe we can even in the future do another video to discuss you know youth car culture versus older, older car culture. culture because there's a difference there too because what AJ is saying is kind of right you know the younger people at the, like the tuner shows do have all that extra and, and, and like all borderline too much bling and they, you do see a lot of the vertical doors and you do see a lot of just you know out of the world stuff it's just you know fart cans like big 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 exhaust and stuff like that and sound systems and sound systems yeah sound systems that was so 20 years ago but you know, <laughs> you know in, the tuner, tuner, in the tuner world it's all about the sound system it's and funny. the lights. Dude, it's like a fucking disco hey, tech. Hey, and those, those, and those lights it's roll. Fun. Hey, <laughs> dude, we're, we're, we believe in transparency here. They're coming so, back. Speak but, back. But, dude, the fucking lights, the blinking and, you know, shift color. Dude, man. Maybe I am old. You know? Yeah, maybe well, I am old. Fuck, clearly you are. <laughs> but, you know, it's funny. Like, I was driving today on the street and I heard a car bumping. I'm like... Who the hell bumps the radio anymore? Like, I haven't heard a sound system in a long time. What? And like, they were fucking bumping, though. Like, you can feel that shit. And I was, like, five cars back. And I was, like, holy and shit. And you know what? The reason why it stopped is because the, the, the car manufacturers are making these cars yeah. with 10 and 12 speaker systems. And, and they sound amazing. Yeah. No one really does anything extra to them. Like, you know, my truck had came stocked with the sub box behind the lower seat. So they already come, you yeah, know, high pretty, power. Yeah. I mean, they sound good. They're not competition level, but you know. But in the tuner tuner world, you still see these cars with, you know, twenty speakers, you know, or the whole back end uh, trunk is all speakers. So that's still interesting to me that they're still doing it. So the audio world, the as far as businesses go, the audio, the the uh, uh, lighting, you know, the the chromers. Man, they got big business in the tuner world. But but it's yeah. go it's transferring to the to, to the muscle world. It is. Well, Look at the the well, halo lights, the halo lights yeah. went back in Fast and Furious days. Yeah, yeah. They're back. Oh yeah. The street glow is coming back, like street I said. Back, yeah. You know, it, it all that stuff, the vertical those apparently are coming back. I'm gonna get some, I'm telling you. Well, but but uh, uh where I know you are. That's why I said with, it. <laughs> with, with the whole youth comment and, and you know how you can tell when it's somebody younger that owns that car is because when you look at somebody older that's in the tutor scene, their shit is tasteful as a motherfucker. Yeah. The attention to detail that all original all JDM original parts all like JDM parts, like you never see, you know, a replica body kit on, on, on somebody yeah. who's like also been doing it for a while. Uh, that that comes down cool. to what we talked about, you know, in another episode where it's like people doing quality builds versus just throwing shit on the other yeah. stuff. And 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 it, it is it is age orientated, okay? That's like me. I'm 45, right? Ooh, so that's like me. That's like me driving down the street, listening to EDM and going to raves. It ain't gonna fucking happen, okay? It ain't gonna happen. But you know, you see sometimes, sometimes. You see these guys, these older guys, they want to be young, and they are competing at these tuner shows, and the, the guys... guys that want to be young, huh? <laughs> Still that, rocking the fucking chain ring this, this is old man shit right here, I'm telling yeah. you. Oh, yeah, you, right, you, right, you, right, you all of right. you got money to do that shit. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, you see an old guy with, a, 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 a say, a Honda Civic, you're going to laugh at that guy. You know, if you see me rolling out a Honda Civic, you know, and it's all JDM'd out or whatever, you know, you're gonna be like, that that doesn't fit. At that yeah. age, you're not you shouldn't be driving a Civic, you should be having one like an RX seven. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. So a lot of stuff is age orientated, you know, and and you know, it comes with you know, younger people, they're working their way up to you know, they're finding a career and they're getting the money and stuff like that. But yeah, you know, the J the the tuner shows are 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 very popular and they're very very busy. I don't go to them because they're too busy. You know, there's too many people. They're packed. They yeah, they, packed. they are packed. You yeah. can barely walk around. Right. It's like you're at a club. You know, you got go-go dancers. You got the DJ playing some trance. You know, you got all the lights on the cars. I almost go into seizures and shit. <laughs> I'm walking down. I'm like, oh shit! It's it's too it's information overload, dude. Since this walker doesn't fit. Through yeah. The crowd. Oh my God. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, the counter on this one, man! Oh my god! Yeah. yeah. Oh shit! What do you? What about you, Sunshine? What do you? What do you like and don't like about the tuner shows? Or, I think what or I like about the tuner shows is is that it is actually pretty busy. Um, I 
I don't like a lot of people, so I'll probably be in like the back corner just chilling in like my little lawn chair, you know? By your car? <laughs> well, behind my car, more than likely. Um, but I do like that there's a lot of foot traffic and there's a lot of variety and you can see, you know, when a JDM veteran takes the time and, and, and they, they put their attention to detail and they take their time with their build, like you can, like, there's some nice yeah. cars out there, dude. Like there's little, you know, older RX-7s, uh, I think it's, what is the FC, before yeah. the FD? You know that like builds and like fully builds like that like it's 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 really cool to see. Um, yeah, we, then, last time we went, we met uh, this guy with a Mercedes, an old school Mercedes. Oh, like an old plastic seventies Mercedes coupe. That there was like maybe only like a thousand made in the entire world, and he had one of them, and it's right there. Like it's, it was a really That's really a nice really nice car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like you see a lot of that kind of stuff too. That if you don't know what you're looking at. You're not gonna know, yeah. You know, unless sure. you meet the owner and then you get a chance to talk to the owner. Um, but like for example, when I put my Mustang in a tuner show, people look at my car and they see that it's on bags and they think the rest is stock, right? Mm -hmm. But when I go to a Mustang show, they know exactly what I've done to the car. Mm -hmm. I feel bad because I was listening to people when uh, we went because Brian's car is a Shelby, right? We know what the fuck Shelby is. Everyone's like, oh, that's that's okay. Okay, look at Mustang. You're like, nah. That car can whoop all y'all's asses in here. <laughs> well, some of them. Well, a lot of people, don't, they don't know the difference. That's you know? Know. I was going to say that. I come from a tuner world. I didn't get into a Mustang or even know anything about American cars until my Mustang. And when I first started going to muscle cars or muscle car shows, I didn't know shit. I can't tell what engine was a Staline supercharger and which one was a Roush. Like, I, even to this day, I don't know much about fucking muscle cars. I don't. And, and, and the, other, the other difference, I'm going to talk about the differences, okay? I, on an American car show, okay, domestic car show, um, there's a lot of standouts and there's a lot more variety. You can you can look at one car and be like, you know, it's so different and so catchy, and and there's a lot of nice cars out there, um, but there tends to be cars that stick out more than others. When you go to a tuner car show. You see, you look at one and you think, oh man, this is the best thing I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. The next one, the same thing. It's hard to stick out because there's so many of them. That's true. And they're all almost, I mean, they're all amazing cars. Yeah. How do you even judge to pick a winner at like a tuner show? That's because true. there's so, there's such amazing build. It, at, a, a, at an American car show, a domestic car show, you can pick out the winners. You can find the winners. Yeah. It's you obvious know? to tell. It's pretty winning. obvious, but at a tuner show, it's not. No. Well, it's maybe. so hard to pick because you'll see a badass RX-7, yeah. and then you have a badass Skyline. Mm -hmm. It's like, how, it's do like you, that, yeah. how do you pick between those two? They don't. You know? It, they, it, it, they don't. There's a category yeah. for both men. Yeah. But even still, there's still like three, four of them, and yeah. they're all yeah. amazing yeah. looking cars. They're all different. Yeah, I like that. And it, it sucks, because you're right. Cause in the, it, it's so in big. It's, it's so big. And it, it, it's so advertised. It's so, uh, you know, it, it's so money orientated. Yeah. It, it's it's difficult. You know? I've been to tuner shows where they don't even pull the slip off your car. Oh, yeah. 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 They won't, you because know, they it's won't. just like, they, they clearly really, there are better cars. Yeah, there. I mean, I don't know who, I don't know how their judging is done, right? But, you know, when we go to, like, the car shows that, like, the domestic car shows that we go to, we know how the judging is being done because we either see the judges walking to each individual car mm -hmm. or they explain it beforehand. When you go to a tuner show, they, they just tell you your categories, but you don't really know who's judging or what they're looking for. They just ask you to... How, how many cars were in the last one you went to? Uh, probably four or five hundred. Yeah. And that was what, Webfest? That was yeah. Webfest, yeah. Five hundred cars. That's a lot of cars that's to judge. Cars. Yeah, but that's a huge team of people. Like, yeah. I, I mean, I saw the judges walking around, but... Unfortunately for us, because we're domestic and we don't have a Liberty Walk kit on our car. <laughs> yeah, but you guys and, and you guys honestly didn't expect it to. I no, mean, you went there. Not. Yeah, no, you know, no. and that and that's the difference, you know. And these guys, a lot of these guys, they do expect to win, you know. And they're yeah. they're pulling out the stops, and you know, like a lot of these cars are towed in. You know, this one yes. says this one says no, but I call bullshit because I've seen them towed no, in. No, absolutely. You know, a lot of them are towed in. They're not driven cars. You know, because there's so much chrome and so much shining mirrors and lights and stuff and, you know, zip ties, you know, um, you know they don't want to drive the car. <laughs> I think the only thing I'm angry about is that uh, for some weird reason, Tudor shows have better food than muscle car shows. 
Oh yeah. It's really bumming me out. That's the only thing I truly care about. But and I bet you it's expensive too. Right? Oh, it's expensive shit. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like going to a Dodger game or a Laker game. Yeah, you know it's like the beer is. It's like really? Beer. I go. I'm not at a damn Dodger yeah. game, dude. I don't want to pay ten dollars for a damn hot dog. Come well, on, man. Get into the shows, isn't it? Pretty pricey too to get in. Some of them were. That one was pretty expensive, but it was an indoor show, so I understood. Like Wegfest, I understood why. Excess Car Night, totally understood why. Well, it's also Other a big venue. Is, I mean, they're renting out the venue, exactly and so. and that's why because if it if it's at a, a convention center, they're renting out the venue. Yeah. that's where it goes, and all the vendors that are in that venue, those are you know the same hot dogs that are being made for the computer show next week. You know, so it, it's that's why you have the food there. It's oh, already yeah. there, versus <laughs> domestic. We're in some parking lot somewhere, so some field by a lake or yeah. or so ponies cool. at the pike. You know, but in Long Beach, where the vendors actually have to set up, you know, so it's a little bit different. Hey, Ponies at the Bike had good food last year. Yeah, they I have this, amazing like, food. Yeah. Fried potato thing. Oh, yeah. oh no, it's good. They have, they have. It's a great. That's a good car show. So I think that one's the best car show for the. Oh yeah. For, for Mustangs. Uh, yeah, for, for like Mustangs. Yeah. Camaros. Well, got Camaro cars. You guys got it. Bad, but it's kind of like it's hot. It's in a parking lot at a mall. Yeah. It's it, and it's only once a year. Well, I mean, to the point of the park. But you guys have so many options. Yeah. And then even Dodge only has like Spring Fest. I haven't even heard of another like Mopar show. And even then, the reviews that we hear from people about Spring well, Fest. Well, last year, that's because it rained last year. It was raining. Last, last year, last year it kind of sucked. But all I'm saying is, if we want to make American car shows better, we need to have better food. That's the answer to all of our problems.